UFC 302 is this weekend. We're going to New Jersey, guys. UFC is back with a big pay-per-view. We know we had that UFC 301 one, which was a little stinky, if we're going to be honest. But we're back with a good main and co-main event because we got Dustin Poirier, Islam Makachev going down this weekend with the co-main event being Sean Strickland and Paulo Costa. Now, this is two fights that I'm excited for. Could there be a little more fights to kind of, you know, spice up the pay-per-view a little bit, in my opinion? Yes, but at the same time, I'm grateful, especially after UFC 301. This is a great card, and I'm excited for the main event because I think a lot of people are writing off Dustin Poirier and I'm gonna say that right off the bat before I actually get into my predictions I think a lot of people are writing him off guys I'm gonna just say it I think he does have a chance and I don't think he should be as big of an underdog as he is but we're gonna get into that and I'm gonna talk about why I think that as well as also talk about at the end of the video a little bit about Sean Strickland and Paul Costa some of my thoughts on that matchup but before we get into it guys I don't want you guys to the subscribe button like comment and share guys we're almost at 13k guys you guys have been killing it with the support I really appreciate everything you guys do and just a little memo I am away so if any breaking news does happen yeah that is why I have not reported on it. And also, let me know what you guys think about this setup. I'm changing it up a little bit with the lights. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm kind of trying to change things around, trying to make it look a little bit better for you guys. And before we get into the actual picks, guys, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Betting.Bet. If you guys are trying to put any action on UFC 302, guys, make sure you guys go to Betting.Bet because they got the best sports books, the best odds, the best parlays. They have all information on that in the description right now. Just go click that right now. And soon enough, my picks are actually going to be on the website and they might be for this weekend. So make sure you guys click the link in the description and let's get into this, guys. Dustin Poirier, Islam Mach chip guys yeah Dustin Poirier kind of just got lucky with this Tyler shot I mean he beat Benoit Saint Denis I have criticized that win before and you guys hate when I criticize this win but I will once again Dustin fought a Benoit Saint Denis who was clearly suffering from staff infection and look here's the thing yeah Dustin Poirier that is not his fault and that is not why I'm upset with Dustin Poirier about that performance he did what he had to do and it was still a good performance he got a really good knockout and I'm sure a lot of you couldn't beat Benoit Saint Denis on staff infection I sure as hell couldn't so credit to Dustin Poirier for beating him but I know it's funny to talk about him jumping for guillotines but if I'm gonna be honest guys I just don't find it funny guys i think it's dumb please i hope dustin does not go and jump guillotines over and over again against islam makachev because that'll be just so stupid and i get it it's a funny joke haha ha, but it's not funny when you keep doing it it's not funny when you hurt benoit saint denis against the cage and you go fucking jump for a guillotine it's the stupidest thing i've ever seen and whatever i feel like a party pooper saying this because everyone online goes crazy but i just don't like it just try to win the fight dude like honestly i'm gonna be rooting for dustin in this one so that's why i'm gonna be a little more upset if he does it and well yes a lot of people could say yeah dustin poirier has not gotten someone with a guillotine it is good normally it is on under the chin and it's surprising how close he gets it even against Benoit Saint Denis he got it pretty close a few times but I just think it's dumb I'm just gonna say it right off the bat and let me say second off the bat as I said in the beginning of this video I do think that Dustin Poirier has a chance here Dustin Poirier has great cardio he's very experienced he's got knockout power he's a tough matchup he is good jujitsu Dustin Poirier is not a bum in this matchup like you can't just say oh yeah there's no way Dustin is going to win I think that Dustin has a possibility and now do I think he's going to win we're gonna get into that and I will say guys I have been going back and forth on this pick my final pick I have been going back and forth on it who knows I might even change my mind again now why does Dustin Poirier have a chance I think it comes down to two reasons number one Dustin Poirier I think is obviously really good I think everyone knows at this point Dustin Poirier is very good but he has the experience most of all right and yes he has his losses he lost to Habib but he learned from that match I'm sure he learned from the Charles Oliveira loss as well Dustin Poirier yeah he loses but he takes a lot of lessons from that matchup and he has gotten control before and that is a big if for me on the ground at least he's been controlled and I get it yes he has been taken down before he has gotten controlled he has gotten submitted before but let's keep in mind guys I want to first say this about Islam Makachev and I think this is going to be a hot take and I honestly am already seeing the dislikes on this video I'm literally laughing to myself just thinking about the hate comments right now Islam Akachev is good of course but he has not been proven 100% look at the end of the day he beat Volkanovski that's his best win on short notice if you take that win away from Islam Akachev what other win does he have yes he has a Charles Oliveira win which was very good that's probably his other best win but the first Volkanovski fight he arguably lost then he beat Bobby Green and Dan Hooker those are his best other wins like look at the end of the day I'm not trying to say anything bad about Islam he's a great fighter and I have said before I think he has the potential to be one of the greatest of all time not just greatest lightweight one of the greatest of all time but my point is is that we can't just say oh yeah he's going to demolish Dustin Poirier because what proof do we really have that he's going to demolish Dustin Poirier if this guy wasn't Islam Makachev and he was any other guy just because of the hype from Khabib try to remove that from your mind and then you'll see this match a little bit clearer because yes Islam Makachev is a good striker however he isn't like an Israel Adesanya like Dustin Poirier is a thousand percent a better striker than him and let's get into it guys what is the game plan for each fighter I want to just break this down a little bit look Dustin Poirier let's talk about it because this is going to be the much more interesting one because I'm sure you guys are like how is this guy going to justify Dustin Poirier winning this one but here's what I think Dustin Poirier should do I think Dustin Poirier look he's going to get taken down it's probably going to happen and Dustin Poirier doesn't have the best takedown defense Dustin might even try to go for a guillotine for all we know right it is possible so I think if Dustin does find himself on the ground I think he's got to hold on fuck you know trying to get up do what he did against Charles Oliveira and stay on the ground the whole round even if you lose the round because Islam Makachev does have cardio problems we have seen against Volkanovski he was tired in that fight in Austria 
Australia. And grappling as hard as they do and going as hard as they do, and especially if Dustin Poirier is gritty and he's, you know, constantly fighting, it's going to be an exhausting fight for Islam Makhachev, but it might also be for Dustin Poirier. So I think Dustin Poirier should just close his guard, literally hold on for dear life against Islam. Don't let him pass your guard and just hold him there until the ref stands you up. That is what I would tell him if I were in his corner. Like, don't even try to get up. Just, just try to get a standing. And look, yeah, you're probably going to lose the first round or two, and maybe after round three, and you know, you're like, yeah, we're not winning a decision, then you maybe go for it a little more. But make the fight boring, because yeah, it'll be stood up, and then Dustin Poirier can get the better shots across and make it a better fight. I would say hold Islam Makhachev until the ref will stand you up, or you know, until the end of the round or whatever, and try to minimize some damage and just try to survive, because I think Islam Makhachev is going to be very aggressive against Dustin Poirier early. I think he's going to really underestimate Dustin Poirier, and Dustin isn't a bum on the ground. I know it's a meme from Islam Makhachev to be like, oh, he's a black belt. Like, what does that mean? He shouldn't be a black belt. First of all, Islam Makhachev isn't even a black belt in jiu-jitsu, so what the hell is he doing talking about jiu-jitsu? Like, he isn't even a white belt. He's a Sambo guy. If you want to say Sambo is better or whatever, that's fine, but you can't really just say, oh, this guy doesn't deserve a black belt. You're not even fucking, you, you're not in control of giving anyone a black belt. Point is, is that Dustin Poirier is not a bum on the ground. Like, I've seen people say, oh, it's gonna be your early sub, and, and it could happen. It could happen in the first round. You never know how a fight's gonna go, but most likely it's not gonna end in the first round. But I think more likely it would probably be in the second, third round when he starts to fade a little bit if Islam Makhachev has really good pressure in this fight. And I think, look, I think Dustin Poirier, I think if he does win this one, I think it's gonna go Islam Makhachev takes him down. Dustin Poirier, you know, holds him, doesn't get submitted, and Islam Makhachev trying to finish him. And we get to rounds four and five, and Dustin Poirier is, you know, standing with him. Islam's not able to take him down as easily. Then what happens? Because, yeah, Dustin Poirier is pressuring him, which is what he should do. He will beat Islam because Islam's main defense is going backwards. Islam is a very good striker as long as he feels comfortable, which is a case for a lot of people. But you're not going to be comfortable in the fight 100%. And when he's not comfortable, we've seen those are when his weaknesses are. That is where we're going to see Dustin Poirier potentially really hurt Islam and even knock him out. And I think for Islam, I think he should definitely use his kicks, use the front kick, try to get some distance going because he's not going to be good in boxing range and the kicking range is where Islam needs to be. And then maybe wait for Dustin Poirier to try to get into that boxing range and then shoot in for a takedown, break it up there. And you could probably catch him by surprise. And I think Islam Makhachev is going to have to grind on him. Really, you know, try to make Dustin Poirier move, make him work. Kind of like how Benoit saint Denis did because yes, even though Dustin Poirier won that fight, he looked rather tired at the end of the round grappling for so long and grappling that aggressively, like with that many scrambles, anyone's going to get tired. But at the same time, that's a double-edged sword because Islam Makhachev could get tired too. But I think it's ready to give my prediction, guys. My prediction for this fight is going to be Islam Makhachev, guys. I didn't mean to bait you guys all the time. I do mean everything I said. I think at the end of the day, it's possible for Dustin Poirier to win this fight a thousand percent. And I think that scenario can happen. I would not be surprised if it does. However, I think that Islam Makhachev is going to take him down. Dustin Poirier is just so easily taken down. He's so easily controlled. I think that he's going to get tired, kind of like in the Benoit St. Denis fight. And my prediction is going to be that by the second round, he's taken down. Islam is pounding on him. He has Dustin Poirier flattened out, and I think he's going to submit him. I don't know how. Maybe with a rear naked choke, let's just say for fun. And yeah, that is my prediction for this fight. But I want to talk about the co main event between Sean Strickland and Paulo Costa. Sean Strickland, obviously, look, he lost to Dragas Duplessis. This is his big comeback. Paulo Costa lost to Robert Whitaker. Both guys need a little bit of a boost. Both guys are big stars in the division. Whoever wins this fight is going to be around for a little bit longer. And that's why there's a lot of stakes on this fight. It's a five round fight, which is important, which heavily favors Sean Strickland because Paulo Costa notoriously has struggled with some cardio issues before. Look, I think Sean Strickland, he's going to have to move forward. I think he's going to have to use his jab just like how he does and pressure Paulo Costa. While Paulo Costa is going to want this a little bit more in open space to even pressuring Sean himself. We've talked about it before. Sean Strickland has good defense. However, if he's going backwards and if his back is against the fence, that is where he's going to get caught because Sean Strickland does things in his defense that you can't really do against a guy that's trying to set you up. That's why Alex Pereira really was able to knock him out so early. But if he's pressuring Paulo Costa and the open space is to Sean Strickland's back, then Sean Strickland has a lot of room for error. I think the early rounds are going to be very important because Paulo Costa could very well catch Sean Strickland 1000%. However, my prediction is going to be I think Sean Strickland is going to win I think he'll get dropped early in the fight and I think he's going to come back at round two three four five and maybe even get a late TKO but I'm going to go with a decision I think Paul Costa is going to be badly hurt at the end of this fight and that is my prediction guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below make sure you guys check out betting.beck and check out my last video where I talked about the Conor McGregor press conference and you know that breaking news about that and I'll be back on Friday talking about the press conference and all other news I missed thank you guys for watching you guys are the best fan base in MMA and I'll see you guys in the next one